up you guys so I am bare face and natural and um, up close and personal with y'all because I want to uh, show you guys how to properly get rid of dead skin on your lips now um, my lips are looking a little bit dry a little bit crusty right now because I purposely kept them that way so that way I could show you guys how to properly exfoliate your lips um, exfoliating is something that I do every single night I exfoliate from my head to my toe every single night in the shower as well as my lips and um, my face is dirty right now haven't showered haven't done any of that stuff but I just wanted to show you before I got in the shower how to properly exfoliate your lips. And you don't really even need any product to do this. All you need is a washcloth, a wet washcloth, and your crusty lips. So we're going to get up close and personal so you guys can see what, what, I'm, what I'm working with. So I don't know if you guys can see that my lips are a little bit cracked, a little bit dry. You guys can see right there that little dent right there I can feel dead skin on my lips so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my washcloth and do this and it's wet and I'm just gonna exfoliate my lips I don't know if you guys could see the dead skin coming off but I can feel it coming off Oh, that feels a lot smoother. It looks a lot smoother, too. Mmm, baby smooth. So you guys can see um, that has brought uh, life back to my lips. You guys can see that my lips look a lot more uh, plump. They look a lot more rejuvenated. They don't look as dead. They have circulation coming back to them. Um, they're not dry. They're not crusty or anything like that. They're soft to the touch. And to keep from having dry lips often, I do recommend you do this every single night or morning when you wake up. It's good to exfoliate your face. Even if it's mildly exfoliating your face or mildly exfoliating your lips, it is good to still do that so you don't end up looking like that girl from Black Ink. We all know who she is. I can't really remember what her name is, but you know the one that had to crush the lips all the time. We don't want to look like that another tip is to always stay moisturized um, personally I prefer lip gloss sticky lip gloss over chapstick because for me as a girl um, I lick my lips a lot and um, our saliva does have acid in it so that can that creates burning lips burning sensation when you continuously lick your lips you get your lips start to get really really burn or they feel burned or, or or anything like this because the saliva um, has acid in it your saliva has acid in it and it burns your lips and your lips are very sensitive very sensitive skin this is my favorite lip gloss it's just a pink um, tinted sticky lip gloss very sticky it's a J cat lip gloss and I slather it all over my lips and it's not like super sticky to where I can't do that but it's a little bit of stick to it so now my lips are moisturized um, if you are a guy and you aren't a feminine guy and you don't really want to put on sticky lip gloss to help moisturize your lips I would recommend the brand chapstick or I would recommend um, some medicated lip balm Carmax but Carmax it just it tends to go away too fast for me so that's why I prefer sticky lip gloss over any type of chapstick because I feel the moisture deep inside my lips and I lick my lips a lot so 
it's good for me to have a sticky lip gloss so I know that it's gonna keep my lips moisturized and hydrated even though I still lick my lips so um yeah this was just a quick little video hope you guys enjoyed it make sure you do give me a thumbs up and um I will see you guys in my next video bye I just want to see you shine cause I know you are